Hello guys and welcome back to another video where you join me once again in sunny Dubai where today we're going to go and check out Costa Azura which is this new boat concept thing uh, near the palm but to start with today I'm picking up a parcel and I think this is so cool Aramex do this thing where this van just drives into random car parks and you can come and get your parcel so let's get my new parcel Everyone wants to get involved with the vlog now <laughs> Finally giving the Jiminy a little wash. So we've made it to the point, um, there's loads of cool restaurants and stuff, so we're gonna get some food first, and then we're trying out this new boat concept thing. There's loads of restaurants and things all the way along here to choose from. The second Atlantis looks like it's almost finished and it's looking sick. But also they do like a fountain show here every night. It's like the world's largest fountain show. I mean, it's a bit of a cheat because half of it's here and half's on the other side, but still cool. But definitely the one at Dubai Mall was a lot better. So we've made it to Costa Azura on the points, like little bit here. And one of our runs above and then you've got Atlantis behind us. Thank you. <laughs> we've made it onto the boat. It's really easy, it's quite fast. So this is actually so fast, like it's got a good 15 kilometers an hour going. You get this amazing view of the point from both sides. You can travel until the fourth pillar. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at the view of the Atlantis. This is insane. Look at the Atlantis. It's such a small little steering thing. It's literally like this little thing you can move around. You can connect your music as well. Long things holding you up on this side. You've got two seat and then there's like your little control bit here. You've got drawers in case you want to store something. Like someone's had some snacks. And then you can put your drinks in here as well. You can connect your music. You can control the boat. This little pillow, really comfy seat. This is living the life. We've got a really clear day here as well. We can even see the Burj Khalifa like all the way over there. This is nice. For stand up paddle boarding. At least this way you will not fall in. We've got like our own little platform here. So basically it's really expensive to do this little activity, but it's really cool. So it's 200 dirham for 15 minutes, which is a load of money. And then if you want to do half an hour, it's 300 dirham, which is very expensive, but it's quite a cool thing to do once. You get a really cool view that not many people get because you can't actually swim in this water or anything. Nice view of Atlantis, nice view of Atlantis too. You see the monorail go over, you get a really good view of the point. So it's cool, but very expensive. So I feel like this experience would be a lot better if White Beach wasn't absolutely kicking off because it is so Loud, but it is really relaxing just chilling out here in the water. We're coming, we're coming. Wow. So we've been flagged back in now. We've had our 15 minutes and I feel like this is just something so you can get your Instagram and then go back in because you can't really travel that far out. But it's nice, relaxing and quite a different view. Arabica or to Starbucks and grab a little coffee before you get on. So you can sit, enjoy your coffee, pay you 200 dirhams to sit on a little boat. <laughs> this is the most Dubai thing I've done in a long time. How was it? Amazing. Very nice. yeah. Now we're just heading up to Social District, which is this new dining concept sort of thing. And it sounds like they have live music, so we're gonna check it out for the first time. They've also got a live band up here in this Social District thing. It's like Time Out Market, there's loads of different food concepts. You can go around and pick what you want and get different things from each place. We've gone with Pinza, which is a really good pizza. Also, they serve alcohol, and I bet this would be really nice at night because the fountains are just here. So this is a winner so far. Gone for a little Pinza pizza and a little orange juice. Mm. Thank, you. Thank you. I always forget to get my ticket validated for the car park. So overall, Social District, 10 out of 10. The point, 10 out of 10. It's a really nice place, but that boat, probably a three out of 10, really not worth the money. A really nice little experience, but 200 dirham for 15 minutes, insane. Now we're gonna go and meet my friend Rich because he's just got a new car and we're gonna take some pictures of it and have a bit of a drive around on some of the abandoned roads that I love to go to. So let's go and check it out. Nice and clean chimney. Oh, not so clean, look at that. The disappointing car wash. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. This is the first time I've filled up petrol in Dubai. I think it's full. It's not full. What a wild combo. Who's buying a blanket with a hairdryer? I just found another green chimney. 
So we just stopped at the one petrol station I know still has toffee nut lattes, which is amazing. And we're just going to meet Rich now and go and see his new car. So we're going to the abandoned roads. Now that is a sexy car. Oh my God. <laughs> It's like sitting on the floor. Oh my, this is a race car. No way. How'd you even get out? This is literally on the floor. <laughs> Should we drive down there a little bit? Yeah, sounds good. Cool. Yo, that is a fast car. <laughs> You've got a racing. Yeah. I'm getting in the new car. Oh. cool little spot and I'm going to put the chimney on here where the roundabout stops and hopefully get a cool picture. Just got some sick shots of my little chimney pulled up here on this roundabout. Oh, I really love this location, it's so good. But it's so busy today, this is the busiest I've ever seen it. There's like families dotted all around having barbecues and picnics and stuff. I love it, there's a paraglider thing over here as well, look at this. Looks like he's coming into land. Rich has just taken his new car off the, on the sand for the first time and it made it over fine. We've just done a little bit of off-roading, got some amazing shots of the cars and now Rich is going to jump in here and we're going to do a little bit more off-roading and I think that's about the end of it. Rich has taken over the driving seat and we're doing a bit of off-roading in the chimney. I know I said it last time but honestly this car is insane off-road, it just glides over everything. It really does. It's got so much clearance as well so when you go down something steep you just easily go over, not roll over. Well that is a very nice car. <laughs> and a nice little sunset to finish us off. And that concludes today, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little vlog of what I got up to today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in Dubai next time. Boom. Rich is making so much noise with his bloody new car, look at him.